All right, so what we have here is a QRPlabs.com uh, Ultimate 3S Whisper Transmitter Kit. And what we're going to do is talk about uh, zero biasing the transistor on it. Uh, to do this, you'll need a bench power supply. Uh, you're going to need a, a multimeter. And you're going to need to be using the amps or using the amp milliamp measuring system out of your multimeter. And uh, it's pretty simple. Just wire it in line. So instead of just connecting the positive and negative uh, into the power uh, input of the kit, uh, you would run it in series through your multimeter. And then what you do, uh, you can see right down here in the lower left is the multimeter. Uh, simply finding the potentiometer. Uh, when you power it on, just to remember, you want to make sure it's fully anti-clockwise or counterclockwise. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to turn... We're going to turn it clockwise, and you'll notice I'm at 68 or 69 milliamps down there. Actually less than that, but you see right there we just went to 72. So I'm going to back it off just a little bit. So we were at 69 kind of running current. And I bump it up just a tiny bit, and we go right to 70, 71. And that would be approximately the, uh, the zero biasing, or the way that you would... Uh, uh, set the initial bias on the uh, on the transistor for transmitting. Now, as the notes in Hans's uh, documentation states, this is not uh, peak output. Uh, this is not the uh, the highest rating that you would get out of the transistor, but it is the initial set value and the safe configuration to set up uh, so that you may have uh, um, appropriate RF out. Uh, so, just an informational video on that. Thank you.